Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Thunder Politics live on Channel's television. I'm Shua Kibalu in Lagos. Today should have been the day after the first uh, day of election, but INEC postponed the exercise, bringing a whole lot of controversies and debate over the reasons why that should have happened in the first place. A lot of questions have been raised. Did INEC not know that it has logistics issue uh, before going into uh, that day when, in the middle of the night, the commission came and said it can no longer continue until after a week? Well... These are very much uh, issues that we'll be discussing tonight. But again, there are other issues that you need to know. INEC itself has recalibrated its countdown. And uh, if you go on INEC website, this is perhaps what you will see, a recalibrated uh, countdown showing that um, because before Saturday, the countdown had ended, but now we're counting down to the Saturday, the 23rd of February 2019. And uh, countdown right here on Channel's television gives you an idea of what we should be expecting in the coming days. Of course, we've told you that you can take pictures of yourself and send to us hashtag 2019 elections. Uh, whether or not you've had your PVC, you're ready to vote on the day of election. Some of you who have done that will show it right there. Some of you who have done that, that is it right there on your screen. Hashtag 2019 elections. All over the country, a whole lot of you are sending in those pictures. In fact, see those in uniform uh, attire and um, so proud that they are ready for this election. We're encouraging everyone to come out on the 23rd, which is the fourth day of ballot. Well then, some of you who had the opportunity of taking your pictures, uh, we want more of you to, to do so. Be proud that you're ready for this election. Wherever you may be watching, let's get started with the conversation of tonight, everyone. So when the elections uh, were postponed by INEC, a lot of Nigerians are raising um, eyebrows about the reasons behind that. The INEC chairman held a stockholders meeting in Abuja on uh, Saturday, which should have been the day when everybody will be on the field for this election and was given explanation and reasons for the postponement. Tonight, we will talk about the reasons, uh, but again, we will dwell on some of the frequently asked questions, some of those things on your mind. Uh, can you use all your fingers, to, any of your fingers are that to Tom Print, uh, what does a ballot paper look like? We've been giving you those kind of education right there on the pro, uh, on channel's television. But tonight, we'll give you an in-depth demonstration. And I've been joined on Sunday Politics by the resident electoral commissioner of INEC in Aquabom State, Mr. Mike Igini. You can call him... Um, uh, and uh, one of the most experienced uh, electoral officer in the in the nation. Thank you so much, Thank, Thank you, you very much. for uh, coming on tonight. To be here and, uh, good evening, Nigerians. It was indeed an embarrassment for the nation uh, that the commission did say, "Look, we cannot continue, and we cannot hold the election as slated." Four years we've been planning, and a lot of Nigerians have been asking INE to apologize to the nation for this kind of situation. Uh, the big question before we enter into this, some of the issues I want to take up with you. I know that you're a resident electoral commissioner, one of the 36, uh, but the big question a lot of people are asking is, is, is how did INEC just discover that in the night before the, I mean, the morning of the election day? Um, so thank you very much. Um, I want to join the leadership of my commission particularly the chairman who spoke to the Nigerian people about the unfortunate decision, very painful one indeed, uh, as a commission and as a people to reschedule the election. On account of operational realities, on the basis of which that decision was taken, particularly decision taken very painful on account of the fact that just as INEC had been working around the clock, 
So also we have Nigerians who have had to put their businesses, marriage programs, and so many other activities on hold. And particularly the political class who have mobilized, who have spent money, just like INEC. It's a regrettable decision. But we took that decision in the best interests of our country and of our democratic process, particularly having regard to the fact that in this country we have crossed very critical democratic thresholds that would not intend to reverse on account of this um, operational reality of which if we went, if we proceeded, would have had a situation where very many Nigerians will, not, will be disenfranchised, but particularly the fact that it would have looked like an, a staggered election, which ought not to be. All police stations in the entire Federal Republic of Nigeria should and must open by 8 o'clock. Again, at this point in time, we are now counting this to Saturday. We want to really apologize to Nigerians. That's we will remain true to you. When there are challenges, we will come to you. Yeah, but you I mean, join us. That's what I But the question, I, you, have, but the question you have raised yeah. as to why this had to happen is important. Because, of course, this is not the first time it's happening. So why should that happen again? Here again, I want to tell you that for the first time in the history of our country, in fact, I'm still trying to do the check fact on that. Nigeria now has the highest number of candidates in an election. But more fundamentally is the fact that way back on the 1st of January 2018, we issued a timetable and scale of activities detailing step by step 14 broad activities. And we slated that on the between on the 18th of August that the primaries of political parties should commence and that it should terminate by on the 18th of August and all issues arising therefrom should be resolved by on the 7th of October Nigerians will remember that you saw the cat and mouse game or the political parties. A party will face its own period for its own primaries today. You will look at the timetable of the other one. They kept shifting that, shifting that, shifting that up to the last day for the primary process. The result of that was that the period even within which this matter ought to have been resolved had not been resolved. What do we have today? We were now left with one, you know, you cannot produce a ballot when you have not seen the total number of the candidates today within this period we are talking about we have had a total of 640 cases joining INEC and a total of 14 court orders either asking INEC to add a name or remove a name and take note that one of the grand for challenging the electorate in Nigeria is that of issue of exclusion from the ballot. We have had to contend with that and to produce by the time we decide, okay, let us now produce. These are problems arising from the kind of primaries that we observe in the country. So you couldn't produce So you cannot produce that ballot with that kind of situation. Now, you were left with only just one month to do this. And you were not producing in Nigeria, were you? Of course, because it's about, it's about capacity. We're producing 421, 420.7 million ballot papers. Because what we have now is a floodgate of presidential candidates in our country. Huge documents have to be produced. Now, if you look at our ballot today, this is the kind of ballot that we have. 91 political parties, 73 candidates that we have. For now, presidential. for presidential. Now, if you look at the logo, they are all different. Where you are going to produce the, there are going to be different color separation. Because some of the logos are so complex, some are very simple. 
you have to produce for all of these logos we are seeing. As a matter of fact, you could see we are even running out of logo in Nigeria right now because they have almost exhausted everything. This is a kind of thing you find. So that so is producing, a sample. It was massive. Is this is a sample, sample of the, of the ballot. How are you going to be? But this one for the blind because of our all-inclusive desire to ensure that those who are, you know, have uh, eye impairment, they also part of the process. This is the kind of thing we have to contend with to produce. Now, having produced that, you have to now move all of this heavy pallet across Nigeria.